Who on the cast is most like their character in real life? We're all pretty much like <laughs> yeah, we are our all people. Very similar. I think I relate to Dot in that I am a little bit of a fixer in my own life. Also, I watch a lot of Bear Grylls. Uh, <laughs> we both watch a lot of Man vs. Wild. I love that show. That's so funny. I love that man. <laughs> Are you from one of those creepy doomsday prep families and have a basement full of canned soup? I just watch a bunch of survival TV. I don't really relate to Fatten a whole lot. I mean, I guess there's just aspects of her life just feeling, you know, like as a Pakistani American, breaking out of those social norms when it comes to family and culture. I relate to her in that aspect a lot. Your daddy and dada, they never gave me an inch. If I was anything less than A++, they threatened to send me to Tirishmir, the war camp in the Himalayas. Oh my God, did they mean it? Actually, I think they made it up. Some people thrive under that kind of pressure. I would say that I relate personally to Tony. We're both very intense. Just intense characters. I don't think I have like the uh, raw aggression that she has, but definitely like a fire in our bellies. Hey, I'm, s I'm sorry. I said that I fucking had it! I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to help. I'd say for my character and Rachel, I think it's something I'm still growing out of, but not equating determination as perfectionism. I think it's very easy when you're a very determined person to think that if you're not perfect, you're not succeeding. Hustle and hard work. That's how you make your dreams come true. We grow up hearing that, don't we? Only to find out. It was a stone cold lie. I feel like we're really different, but we're both super optimistic and try to see the good in people and try to like be these best versions of ourselves. And I relate to her in that way. So I say that we look at these Takis as a grand prize and we play for them. Can't we just eat them? Yeah, seriously, she's gone full youth group counselor on us. Play what? Three words. Shelter building contest. No way! <laughs> We're both indigenous. She's Ojibwe from Minnesota, and I'm a Cuban native from Six Nations. So in that way, I feel like I relate to her on a more personal level. Pair off, powwow with your partner for a sec, and then afterwards you can introduce her to the rest of us. This white girl said powwow. So? So it's not her word. You should be triggered. Okay, I'm not though. Why am I always fighting your battles for you? I don't know, because you like fighting? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Sarah. And Leah. Sarah. I'd say Sarah Pigeon with Leah. It's because she does a lot of reading like Leah does. She's very good with words. Very, very intelligent. to herself. Highly intelligent. She's very aware of other people's feelings and emotions and what's going on around her. I would say Rain and Rachel. Mm. I feel like their characters are different, but she plays it so well, which is incredible to me. I think Helena and Nora. That's a good set. The two sisters. <laughs> There's some things that are similar in both of them, but definitely Mia or Helena, yeah. for sure. Helena is very far from Nora. I need to get a run in. Uh, it's almost 10. So? I mean, it's pitch dark out, and I thought we were gonna work on your Virginia Woolf essay together. Nora, if you wanna help me, help me find my fucking headlamp. Shit! Working with this cast has been a dream. They're all so lovely, so humble, and warm and soft and easy to talk to, and there's no weird jealousies or competitiveness, and 
and we all support each other and lift each other up so much. It's just like a dream. I couldn't have asked for a better cast, seriously. Oh my God. I couldn't have dreamed up a better group of people. This cast has been absolutely incredible. I couldn't have asked for a better group of women to share this experience with. And I love them. Except you. Ah. Take back the fist. <laughs> we gotta get real about shelter. If we all, you know, pitch in, grab the material. Yes, Lady and the Leopard. That sounds really unappealing and I'm exhausted and there's rescue coming. So for those reasons, I'm out. Oh, it's been a blast. It's been incredible. <laughs> so it's been great working with this cast. It is hilarious. Almost 24 seven. <laughs> we just have a lot of fun and love what we do. I have loved filming in New Zealand. I'm from here, if you don't know. It's been so great. I get to show off my beautiful country to everybody and, you know, film in really beautiful parts of the country and, you know, being surrounded by crew that speak the same language as me and I feel a bit lucky having, being at home here. Yeah, it's really cool. Working in New Zealand, I have to say, this is one of the most beautiful places I have ever been. I, I was telling Edna the other day just how different literally looking up at the sky is. Like, it's so different, like the clouds here. I'm, I literally will sit and watch for like an hour just looking at the clouds at my window. It's very, very beautiful here. Oh, and the Maori culture. Mm. It's, it's really cool and I talked to her about it and like learning about the indigenous people here is really awesome. If we were on a field trip and somewhere in some parking lot, a chain smoking bus driver was waiting to take us home, I'd think this place was beautiful. I'm telling you, God does not do ugly. How dope the stunts are that we do. Mm. We've done a lot of cool stuff on this show. Honestly, not gonna lie, thought we were gonna green screen some of it. They said, no, we're going out there. <laughs> <laughs> After a certain hour, we all are. Mm. <laughs> we get pretty delirious. I feel like we all pass the torch of yeah. like the craziest people on set <laughs> because we all get so delirious. <laughs> You're very logical. Oh, thank you. I was gonna yeah. say, I'm fast. <laughs> oh, you're run. Yeah. You're run. <laughs> My mom's a nurse, so I feel like I learned a lot from her and I would know like what medicines to take for certain stuff. Mm. And my dad is an iron worker and I feel like I'd be able to build a shelter pretty, like a nice stable one. I feel like from just my, my parents' information, I feel like kind of help. Mm. Yeah, I don't have any of that. <laughs> I, I think I'd just be able to like, stay positive for long enough to convince myself that I was gonna be fine. You know, we can just do it how we do, right? Like a framed hut, wigwam style. And we learned it in that heritage workshop. Those are super complicated, Tony, which you might have known if you hadn't slept through that entire workshop. Listen, I'm not saying that we have to have it all figured out, but a few concrete plans couldn't hurt. Okay, so are we like practical or fun? Or, we'll mix it up. Practical. Water. Water. Fresh water. Water. A limited supply of electrolyte water. Fun games. So you don't get a bored. Lighter. A lighter. Yes. Yeah. Lighter. A journal. A satellite phone. Peanut butter. Some nice music. I'm gonna have to throw some food in there. A miso soup. <laughs> <laughs> My no, no, I wouldn't do that to my cat. Um, I bring a plane, some gas, and a pilot. Mm, okay. <laughs> it has to be a song that I can belt to. The two songs that I always sing in the shower are Oh Darling by The Beatles and Creep by Radiohead. And they're obviously dependent on my mood. <laughs> Mine would be Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go by Wham. It might drive me crazy on that island. Like, um... Chopin <laughs> on an island. Well, I can say Hot Shower by Chance the Rapper. I've been playing that. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing that the entire time. Because all you want is a hot shower, bro. I've been listening to the song with Diddley Valentine's. It's the Soul Wax remix. And there's actually like a little piece of the song in the pilot. Oh really? I've been banging it so hard, it's on repeat. Dope. I'm gonna have to say September by Earth, Wind and Fire. If I brought a book to the island 
it'd have to be like, uh, maybe like a, si like a college science textbook. Or like, or like Aristotle's theory of metaphysics or something. Like something that I would never read yeah. as me. If but. she's stuck on an island, she wants to learn something. Yeah. She wants to. I want to learn <laughs> science. <laughs> Probably a survival book, instruction manual. Mmm. That's a good one. Instru yeah. But if I was just reading for pleasure, I just finished reading my year of rest and relaxation. I could read that again, 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 and again. <laughs> Do I say yeah. like, like a coloring book? <laughs> like a color if I had access to coloring <laughs> and pencils. Oh, oh, all right. A bit of entertainment. Don't care so much. <laughs> don't care so much about other people, what other people think of you. Just don't care so much. Just figure out who you are. Yeah, don't second guess yourself. Oh yeah, that's a big one. It's a good one. Don't care, don't second guess. Make adamant decisions. <sighs> Chill out. Mm. Yeah. Like, oh, everything's so stressful. Like, it's yeah. all good. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, you have these things in your head. Dating, thing, just everything in high school, schoolwork. All of that stuff, when you get into the real world, you're gonna see how it really works. <laughs> mm. You're gonna see how it really works. So don't stress, you actually are doing a great job. Also don't yell at your brother and family like they're on your team, you know? <laughs> <laughs> or Rachel who left me for fucking dead. I went to get the black box because it's our lifeline oh, out of here. Don't cut me for that. Sister. Guys, please. It has been absolutely wonderful to work with every single person on this production. To just feel like that we've all become a family and we're all going to know each other for many years to come. And Aww. hopefully think about this experience fondly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> of course. Oh my God. Learned so much from this experience. So much. <laughs>